All right, what's up? We're here with another Rap Coach Reacts. Uh, this is a new series we do where me, How to Rap Drew, Rap Coach, extraordinary leader of the legends, mentor to the motivated. I react to YouTube rappers. Most of these people, like I said in the first one, I don't really, I'm not familiar with the, the subculture. I know some of the bigger names. Uh, last week for KSI, first time I'd ever heard him rap. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So this one I'm gonna do, I'm Dante. As, uh, as soon as I was pronounced. I recognize his face, I think, from some like, memes or something like that but he was just another name that came up when i looked up youtube rappers so i'm gonna I'm I'm check him see see what's if he's dope you know what i'm saying uh he reminds me of how i used to look you know what i'm saying when i was younger so i'm gonna I'm come straight out the gate with these youtube rapper joints i'm gonna be a little biased if they look like somebody i grew up with or i know you know what i'm saying so um that i'm hoping this this stuff's nice as always what we'll do is we'll break it down a little bit more like a coach reaction like so i'll be like this is what i liked about the way he's doing it um if there's something i think that could be improved i'll, I'll say that um, but it's all love you know what i'm saying uh it's a reaction video but it's more something more like just adding a little layer to the, the reaction video world you know like god willing all these people are dope and then now i know y'all get to follow the journey as i get to learn this world uh but if not you know what i mean i'll be like yo you know you might want to switch the flow like this or whatever you know just just one man's opinion shout out all right so let's go with um Let's go with distractions. Good morning, Dante. What brings you here? I recommended this for me, so I did it. Have you ever seen a counselor before? In the past. What is the problem from your viewpoint? I don't really want to talk about it. Why don't you? You got the skit going on. But the, the do rag, that's the ski mask drink, right? Ski mask, the skunk, slump guy. Don't talk about it. It's personal. You can trust me. This is a safe space. I don't know. Try it. What's the problem? I think about death often. I love you, Jordan. I think about death often, but I do not speak about it. I know there's things that others think about and do not speak about. That is why distractions are necessary. I don't need water, this drip on my body I'm driving a Dodge, ain't no need for Bugatti Shorty got titties the size of a Titan I dive in, pussy hella Titan Uh, black of the berry, the sweet of the juice Alright, this beat is crazy, this beat is hot This beat is crazy Um, yeah, I like... Yeah, this, okay, this feels a little bit more like what I would expect YouTube rap to be, you know what I'm saying? I can see he's in his, um, you know, I'm, I like uh, anime bag and stuff like that. But the flow so far, when that beat dropped, the flow is there. Um, yeah. Distractions are necessary. I don't need water, there's drip on my body. I'm driving a Dodge, ain't no need for Bugatti. Shorty got it. I don't need water, those drip on my body. Is that like an ice reference? Like, that's funny. He's the size of a titan, I dive in. Pussy hella titan. Uh, black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. Uh, yeah, that shit the truth. I got a check and I spend on shoes. Uh, yeah, that's how I move. Nonsense, and I don't really talk a lot. I'm a nicer Lancelot with armor harder than pants and pots. I'm throwing shots at any nigga throwing taunts in the parking lot or in vicinity. Headshot you. I get like this, yeah, this is a little Eminem vibe to it, almost like parking lot. Like damn like, yeah. Kennedy, hip hop and enemy, bullets infinity. There is no remedy. Why you so jimmy cricket? You shaking, you timid, you scary ass bitches. I don't think it is healthy. Here's another example. Okay, so if y'all remember in the KSI reaction video, I talked about changes of vocal tone and playing with the vocal tone. Um, and how that that shows somebody is experienced. So like KSI likes to do the more gritty yeah, yeah, clack, 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 you know what I'm saying? And he's doing a similar change, creative change of vocal tone, um, which again, from rap coach perspective, that means he's been doing it for a while. Um, or he's a or he's, he's a performer. Like sometimes, you know, when you coach a rapper, it's like you'll get somebody who may not have been rapping that long, but they were an actor or they were a singer. And so they know kind of inherently that I need to change my voice to make it sound more like a song. Um, so I can hear that. Like, like I said, I don't know much about dude, um, but I can tell he has a performative, creative ear the way he's using his voice. Uh, I also happen to like the creativity of it. Um, 
vocally. Um, it doesn't sound like every other rap, right? So this is the first one where I'm like, okay, like this doesn't sound like a billboard artist trying to set, trying to get a hit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it doesn't even sound like some of the other YouTube rappers where they clearly listened to a lot of 3-6 Mafia and battle rap and then started rapping, you know what I'm saying? This sounds like somebody with a creative mind. I'm still, the voice itself, like the vocal quality is, I'm still gonna have to, you know, kind of, we're gonna keep playing, but overall, creative young man, like, yo, yo, this YouTube rapper world is crazy, like, there's some young talents out here, no wonder they got like 2,000, you know what I'm saying, subs. I really want to strip on my body, I'm driving a Dodge, ain't no need for Bugatti, shorty got titties the size of a Titan, I dive in, pussy hella Titan, uh, black of the berry, the sweet of the juice, uh, yeah, that shit the truth, I got a check and I spend it on shoes, uh, yeah, that's how I move. Nonsense, and I don't really talk a lot, I'm a nice Sir Lancelot, with armor, harder than pants and pots, I'm throwing shots at any nigga in the parking lot or in vicinity headshot to kennedy hip-hop and enemy that's hot i hit shot to it's infinity there is no remedy why are you so jimmy cricket you shake it you timid you scary ass bitches i don't think it is healthy to bottle your emotions but i this beat is so hard you know what i mean like the, the beat is so crazy that he doing like i don't know if he knows this but like you know or he did this consciously, but it's like, you can rap whatever you want, as long as you're in that pocket and is doing what he's done. Like, throw in your little style, whatever you are, right? Throw in a cool little concept and just rap however you want, because the beat is it's just, mm, 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 you know what I mean? You're already in there. Um, so that, I think, again, like from a rap coach perspective, that's another reason why this is, this guy seems to know what he's doing, is because a lot of beginning rappers will find this hard beat and they'll be like, I got to do a million things or how do I make the greatest chorus or, you know what I mean? The, they'll overdo it when sometimes when you just have a crazy beat like this, all you got to do is add your, your sauce on it and let it ride. And this, this so I, I like what he's doing with this. This joint is hard, man. I, I mess with this. I mess with this for real. I can't help it. I cannot talk about it. I cannot talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk. Distractions. I'm smoke, I'm a solo man. Huh. Eat that ass like a dog. <laughs> Laughing always hides the pain. Bob the Builder, Builder, hell, I'm raising hell. I'm out to shell like Bowser, huh? Bitch, you well, but can't you tell I'm sort of sell with both Android powers, huh? Pop out the wrist, but you don't got this. All these bands in my wallet, I dropped out of college. She hop on a dick on some bicycle shit, and I flow like a faucet. I know you acknowledge. I feel like Mufasa with power. The beat is the prey and a nigga devour. Yum, I like I'm off of the sour. Um, hope I don't crash in a tower, yeah. It's crazy how annoying it can be, or how you know what it is? Okay, so it's just the talking voice that's a little much for me that, yeah, it's crazy. You know, uh, that's not exactly the tone of voice I would personally use uh, as, as a rapper or or if I was like producing a record, I'd be like, yo, you know, either, you know, you can add an effect to that voice so that, that if you're going to talk like this, you can add like a cool delay with a little distortion uh, to take away from this sort of like the rap is so in there, right? that I'm, exp and the hardness of the beat and the kind of cleverness of the words that for me, when he goes back to talking like this, like it takes me out of the song a little bit. So that that's like a nitpicky point. Overall, this joint is crazy. Uh, but I'm even just thinking if I'm taking this to my homies and I'm like, yo, check out, check out what the YouTube rappers are up to and stuff. I put this joint on. Like there's a certain type of rap fan that just, when the song starts like this and you know what I mean? They're going to be like, nah, I can't do that though. So for me, it's like, why, why put anything in front of yourself? You don't have to, but the rap, the beat, nice, nice dog. Annoying it can get to get asked the same question when something's wrong, but then to also be heard if no one asks the question at all. Stop, 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 stop. Back the fuck up, need my space. Why you press? Why you press? Give it rest. Give it rest. Fuck the therapist. Fuck the therapist. Suck a pair of dicks. Fuck the therapist. Fuck the therapist. Yo, we're gonna die. That's the yeah, I love that. Like that's that's the new the, the new wave. That's the schema schema. That's the triple X, right? I like that stuff. It's creative. 
What I, what I like is he's using different influences, right? So there's a few bars that sound like old school Eminem, a few bars that sound like Chance, a few bars that sound like Ski Mask, uh, a few bars that you know what I mean? Like it's it's just good. It's good, man. <laughs> like this joint is nice. Damn, I didn't I didn't know the YouTube rappers be having little talents like. Like, I think the, the phrase YouTube rappers kind of does them an injustice. To be honest, after I've heard KSI and after I've heard this dude, I don't know if the, the subculture of YouTube people has traveled so far that now people don't even consider them YouTube rappers. Um, but of course, like your average rap fan, I don't, you know what I mean? I assume that they're not really uh, in tune with these people who are nice. And like this, this song is 10 times more original and refreshing than a lot of what you hear in the club. So, bravo, young soldiers. Nation uncertain, but you can stick to believing in your version. But we do not know, we do not know where we all go when the eyes close. Pull back the curtain, see. Pull back the curtain, see. Only if you're curious, hear the question, furious. So. Yeah, that was cool, man. That was dope. I went to get another skit. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, another one where they did, they, you know, I can see they, they worked with a smaller budget, but they, they pulled it off. Um, all right, overall, that was nice. I'll take these off. That was nice. Um, what did he do right? Like, all right, first, again, voice changes for different sections of the song. So if you go four to eight bars, you change your voice, you do another character, um, it's gonna make it more interesting. As I've said in other videos in the past, Eminem is one of the first artists to really introduce characters in such a big way. Uh, also, some of the, the voice tone choices, it, it felt like there was an Eminem influence. Flow was great. Punchlines were funny, right? I liked, like some of them side, you know, them little bars. Um, beat, beat selection, you know, amazing. A, A++. Overall, man, I'm impressed. This is number two uh, of the of the series. I listen to KSI. I'm Dante, that's what's up, bro. You nice with it, like now. I'm gonna just keep reacting to these and hear more and more. Maybe as, as the journey goes on, you'll, you'll get to see my fan favorite scene, you know I'm saying, or whatever. The only note that I had that I was like, I personally would have produced it differently or if I was in the booth and I was part of his team or you know what I mean? I, I, would, I would say, let's do the, the, the voice over again and just practice a little more like either deeper voice tone. I know that might be part of his style. It seems like kind of the nerdcore vibe is there, but for me, I'm just saying it would take a lot of the real hip hop fans out of it when it, it doesn't need to because the, the raps are good, beats hot. So the voice tone, the speaking voice tone I'm talking about, that was one of my notes. Uh, also, I feel like in those those interludes where he's just speaking, there could could have been a cool mixing effect, whether it's a distortion or blah, 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 you know what I mean? All the cool effects uh, the engineers would have. But overall, man, the joint was hot. That was nice. And yeah, that beat is gonna be in my head forever. So, uh, all right, that's the next you Rap Coach Rex. Be sure to subscribe if it's the first time watching us. Uh, we give a lot of videos outside of just reaction videos where we break down how to improve your rap skills, how to get into the rap game, all that stuff. And uh, let me know who y'all want next. Appreciate it, it's the big homie Drew. Bye.